Hi, my name is Steve Friedrich, Product Manager for Yamaha Lube. My job here at Yamaha is to research engine oils, lubricants, vehicle care products and cleaners, and to choose the best for the Yamaha Lube brand. There's a lot of talk these days about ethanol enhanced gasoline, for good reason. E10, sometimes called gasohol, is a fuel mixture of 10% anhydrous ethanol alcohol and 90% gasoline. Ethanol is most often made from common farm crops, such as sugarcane or corn, and is used to help reduce exhaust emissions and reduce the amount of crude oil used in each gallon of gasoline. Ethanol increases the octane rating of gasoline by about two points, but there can be several problems with ethanol that require more awareness and some additional steps to protect your Yamaha. One, it can damage some rubber components on older vehicles, such as fuel lines or gaskets. These components in late model Yamahas are formulated to withstand the harmful effects of ethanol. Ethanol is hydroscopic, which means it attracts and absorbs water, either water sitting on the bottom of the fuel tank or even from the air when the humidity is high. Keep in mind that the fuel tank is vented to the outside air, so the ethanol will absorb the humidity from the air in your fuel tank. Ethanol enriched fuel will hold water in suspension up to 0.49% saturation, after which ethanol and water will drop out of the gasoline. This is called phase separation. This ethanol and water mixture is heavier than the gasoline, so it settles to the bottom of the fuel tank, where the fuel pickup is usually located. Of course, your engine isn't going to run very good, and in most cases, not at all on this mixture. Simply put, the engine can't burn water. And the remaining fuel in the tank doesn't contain ethanol. So if you purchase 87 octane fuel, you now have 85 octane fuel in the tank. It's a good idea to check your owner's manual for the minimum octane the engine requires. If you fall below that octane rating, it could lead to hard starting, poor acceleration, loss of engine power, and other running problems. If you encounter phase separation, it's recommended to completely drain your fuel system and dispose of the ethanol water mixture and gasoline properly. The only thing that can reverse phase separation is adding more alcohol, and it takes a lot to do so. Too much alcohol can lead to serious engine damage. The fact is, nothing stops the natural hydroscopic properties of ethanol. If you have water in a fuel tank, it will react. But ethanol's ability to grab moisture from the air can be controlled with the proper fuel stabilizer and conditioner. If all that wasn't enough, ethanol is also a solvent, so it can loosen debris and corrosion in the entire fuel distribution system. You'll have this type of problem when E10 fuels are first introduced into an older gasoline distribution system. Once the entire distribution system from the port to the combustion chamber are cleaned, this will subside, but never goes away. It's best practice to buy your fuel from a gas station that moves a lot of gas. You'll be buying fresher gas and less likely to be buying watered down fuel. E10 fuel also contains sulfate salts, which corrode metals in the fuel system. So the clogged fuel system issues will not go away completely if left untreated because even right now, those untreated sulfate salts are corroding your fuel system components. Yamalube is the only manufacturer that has aggressively worked towards a true treatment system for ethanol-enriched fuels. Yamalube's Fuel Stabilizer and Conditioner Plus is a completely new proprietary alcohol-free formula. It helps prevent fuel oxidation and phase separation when used on a continuous basis or for long-term storage up to one year. Yamalube's exclusive corrosion inhibitors provide extensive protection for steel and aluminum components from the sulfate salt corrosion. No one else in the market provides this level of protection. Pick up a Yamaloop catalog at your local Yamaloop dealer and read page 66 and 67 for complete details and data. Now the important question, when do I use fuel stabilizer? If the unit is going to sit 60 days or more, the fuel must be stabilized using our concentrated stabilizer, which comes in the 12 or 32 ounce bottles. The 3.2 ounce bottles are not to be used for storage treatment. The storage rate is one ounce of concentrated stabilizer to one gallon of gasoline. It's best to treat the fuel for storage on your very last run of the season to make sure that the treated fuel is circulated throughout the fuel system. Then top off your fuel tank to about 7 eighths full and treat that fuel at one ounce of concentrated stabilizer to one gallon of gasoline. Filling the tank mostly full reduces airspace in the fuel tank and helps prevent corrosion and condensation. Do not fill your tank completely full though. This may cause spillage and gasoline overflow during temperature changes, which could create a fire hazard. For continuous use treatment, you can use our concentrated 12 ounce or 32 ounce bottles at a rate of one ounce of concentrated stabilizer to every three gallons of gasoline. Or you can use our convenient 3.2 ounce bottle that will treat five gallons of gasoline. Never let gasoline sit for more than a week untreated in the fuel tank. The sooner you stabilize the fuel after filling the tank, the fresher that gas will be. If you wait a week, the gas has already begun to deteriorate and the sulfate salts have already started to corrode the metals in your fuel system. Make sure that when you add stabilizer to the fuel, 
you start the engine and let the treated fuel circulate through the entire fuel system. So you can see E10 can be bad news if you're not prepared. Yamalube is prepared with our fuel stabilizer and conditioner plus. Are you?